shantai riga de ando la briga do satala da bahan de le basia yo father we honor you father we exalt you father there is none like you father you alone are god you alone are wonderful father today i pray blessed holy spirit you will do what only you can do may your word accomplish that which you have purposed for on this day father may your will be done may thy kingdom may it come May we see it, Lord. May we experience it. May we taste it. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, there's none beside you. You alone are magnificent. You are from everlasting to everlasting the same. Rock of the ages, fairest of 10,000. You are my bright morning star and you are my lily of the valley. You are the lifter of my head. You are my shield and my defense. You are my exceedingly great reward. There is none beside you. None that will ever match you. You are uncontested in all your ways. You are God of the heavens and God of the earth. Nothing is impossible for you. Nothing is too hard for you. We love you, Lord. We build an altar, O oh God, of worship. May our incense, O oh God, may it be received by you. Father, be exalted. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence in this place. Thank you for your divine presence in this place. Father, be exalted today in the wonderful name of Jesus. Mm. Oof. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Oh, I'm going to ask you just to stay with me. There's such a beautiful presence in this place. Once again, Bishop Jimmy Kimani, thank you so much. And Reverend Alice, thank you so much. I do not take this opportunity lightly. I am honored this morning to be with you standing in the service and the spirit of the lord is so powerful in this place the spirit of the lord is so present in this place the atmosphere of god is so thick in this place heaven is here heaven is here this is a gateway to heaven this is the place of god it's the place of bethel and when i was standing in worship I just sense the presence of God. I just sense God moving in this place and His Spirit hovering in this place. And I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. I'm going to ask you to tell the person next to you that God is here. And tell the person He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. You can ask, think, or even begin to imagine say according to the power that's working on the inside of you say your god my god jehovah god adonai is able say he is well able say he is well able say he causes rivers in desert places say he is well able he is well able my god somebody clap for jesus somebody give him a praise somebody exalt him somebody clap like you know that he's a good god that he's a wonderful father there is none like him Whew. i want to get straight into the word of the lord this morning and i believe that the word that the lord laid on my heart this morning if is a word that that in the early hours of this morning I was jotting down and if I were to title this word this morning I would title this word this morning the Genesis of your life the Genesis of your life I use the title 
the genesis of your life even though you might have been alive for 50 years even though you might have been alive for 25 years even though you might have been alive for 17 years or for 60 years but the prophetic word the Lord gave me this morning when I was praying for this church was you need to let them know that this is the Genesis that this is the beginning that this is only the beginning that up until this point that everything that has been done has only been a precursor for what he's about to do my god you need to hear me i said that up until this point everything that he's done in this ministry and the way that he's built it is only the precursor for what's about to come a day you double day you triple day you quadruple day you to touch somebody and tell them this is the beginning Woo. and i know it might not make sense but the word of faith and the operation of the word in the realm of the spirit is contrary to what we see by sight for we live not by sight but we live by faith and we begin to understand that it was in genesis that god spoke in genesis 1 and so we'll find our reading there today but before i do that allow me just to ask my brother over here that young gentleman if you can go to my car and just get my my cell phone out in my car it's standing in the parking lot you'll find the key just look for the car it's somewhere there amen praise the lord hallelujah come on give him a round of applause my brother my dear sir uh, my dear sir you can come back i don't have a car i'm from south africa i i don't have a car amen but give him a round of applause for believing the word the fact that i gave him keys was the evidence that he thought the car was there just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not here can i say something to you the fact that you don't see god doesn't mean that god is not here the fact that his word is here means that he is here and if god's word is here then everything that's in god is here whatever you're trusting god for it is here i need you to understand just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not present it is here but you gotta open up your eyes of faith you gotta see what you do not see and you gotta see what you see in the spirit and then you gotta speak it my god can somebody give jesus a praise i don't want to get ahead of myself but i need you to know that it is here it is here your healing is here your breakthrough easier i know you might be tired right now i'm just flowing prophetically i know you might be tired but it is here i know the situation might be overwhelming but it is here the fact that the word is the evidence for faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen in other words it's here you just got to grab it by faith through the word. Amen. And so let's get into the word this morning. Oh, the presence of God is so powerful. Genesis 1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty. And darkness covered the deep waters. And the spirit of God was hovering over the waters then god said let there be light and there was light and god saw that the light was good then he separated the light from the darkness god called the light day and the darkness night there are three things in that scripture i'd love you to see I'd love you to see that in the beginning, God. I'd then love you to see that in the beginning, 
God and the Spirit of God was hovering. I then want you to see it was God, the Spirit of God, and then God's Word. That the synchronicity between God, His Spirit, and His Word brought form to that which was formless. Filled that to overflow which was empty. The partnership between God, the Spirit of God, and His Word eliminated and displaced darkness my God. that God all by himself has the ability to enter space and time and rearrange the order of the day that God all by himself he does not need any permission from anybody that if God has determined it and if God has decided it then there is no stopping God from doing it what would you do if I told you that just like the beginning of the Genesis that we are entering into a season of divine collaboration and synchronicity between God the Holy Ghost and the Word and when these three come together there is no big bang theory there's only the power of the unlimited god that has the ability to step into nothing stand on nothing speak into nothing and create all things i don't know who you are but i want to allow you to invite god the spirit of god and his word to step into your life stand on a nothingness platform speak into your life and create the intended purpose for your life somebody say yes we go to john chapter 1 verse 3 I found it interesting when he was preparing this morning and I was awoken at half past one after going to bed at 11 o'clock and the Lord started speaking and downloading and say son let's go and I found it interesting that all the scriptures he's given me is from verse 1 to verse 3 and the combination of 1 and 3 is 3 in 1 it's the partnership of the of Jehovah Adonai it's the partnership of Jehovah Adonai and his Holy Spirit and the word if you want form to appear in your life there must be the partnership with the word the Holy Spirit and with God oh. John chapter 1 From verse 1 to verse 3 Ooh. in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God he was with God in the beginning through him oh man oh I don't know if you see it through him through him through him all not some not a little bit not just an in-between amount no all things were made your marriage can be made my god you need to hear me your calling can be made my god you need to hear me your career can be made i know you're going to university but ultimately it's the power of god that can position you for favor somebody say all things were made whatever is not made yet can still be made 
based on the premise of the word oh jesus whatever is not made yet watch verse 3 oh jesus same without him nothing was made what would we do without you lord what would we do without you what would we do how would we love how would we move for this is grace this is the mercy of god it's the mercy of god in our lives we should we should not be experiencing this favor but it's the mercy of god you can only understand the mercy of god when you understand the depravity of man and when we understand the depravity of man you begin to see the mercy of god the mercy of God is what's upholding you and it's what's upholding me it's the mercy of God that causes us to throw up our hands and worship him and say God it shouldn't have been me it's the mercy of God it's the mercy what a God what a God nothing was made if you'll go with me to my next verse Hebrews 11 verses 1 to verse 3 if you go with if you can bring it on the screen i'd highly appreciate it oh now faith is confidence in what we hope for and the assurance of what we do not see i love the new king james version it says faith is the com confidence and what we hope for will actually happen it give us gives us the assurance about things we cannot see through their faith the people in the days of old earned a good reputation by faith we understand that the entire universe was formed at god's command that what we see now see did not come from anything that can be seen hmm. by faith yesterday i had the awesome privilege of meeting Bishop George Gichana. I've met him before. And what a lovely man of God. And what a firebrand for the Lord. And as I sat with him at the table and speaking, something profound happened to me. Something profound happened. He sat and after the fourth time that I've met him, he said to me, Bradley, I'm going to tell you what a Tanzanian preacher told me. Welcome to Tanzania. And Tanzania is in your hands. And he said, welcome to Kenya. And Kenya is in your hands to do the work of the Lord. When he said that to me, I said, Bishop, can you please pray for me? Because it was a moment, a beginning. It was a Genesis moment. It was the signifying of an end of something and the beginning of something new. Because three months ago, my dad, whom I served for 21 years, full time in ministry every single day. My dad three months ago heard from the Lord and he said to me, son, it's time for you to be released. Whew. My God, I feel like crying. I'll tell you why, because it's a very affectionate relationship. He said, son, it's time for you to be released to pursue the call of God on your life. And to release the expression that God wants to bring through you. It signified the end of something and the beginning of something. How is it possible in my age that the beginning could come midway and not at the beginning of my life and God began to speak to me that it's the your life will be marked with endings and beginnings closing of chapters and opening of new ones ending of chapters and opening of the beginning of new ones and it's as if when I read the scripture I came to understand that a genesis can happen at any moment in your life. But oftentimes when the genesis appears, we miss it. Because of discernment. 
often times we are in the hustle of life and the bustle of life and God is moving and God is saying things and God is doing things but sometimes it's in those moments that we miss the beginning of you see the Genesis a Genesis interjection is a generational blessing I've got two sons it's not ironic that after the fourth time that I've met Bishop that he decided to pray for me after the fourth time it showed me that there's a Genesis moment I don't know that this word but God said I must say it to this church that this is a Genesis moment that this ministry has entered into a Genesis moment a Genesis moment is where God wants to bring all the beauty that he has intended for a particular life a particular ministry a particular time and a particular opportunity it's the unfolding of the beauty of God and so when I heard in prayer that I'm today I'm standing in Bishop Kimani church and Reverend Alice in a vineyard where there has been much labor this is not just the preaching this is a new beginning this for me is a Genesis moment what is your Genesis moment can you see your Genesis moment can you discern coming into this church today that like his mercies on you every day that he wants to break into your day a Genesis moment sometimes we get caught by trusting God to the point of our last failure I'll say it again sometimes we get stuck because God didn't come through for us at our last point when we needed him to so we trust him from that level but what would you do if I told you today it's a new day it's a new day for you to trust God again it's a new day for you to lift your faith again it's a new day for you to lift your expectation again it's a new day for you to believe in the miraculous of God again it's a new day for you to believe that God is the God of the impossible again and it's a new day for you to know that God wants to do something new in your life today will you step into your Genesis moment watch a Genesis moment is where Jehovah God Adonai himself interjects the space of time and makes a move happen that by one's own strength we are unable to accomplish mm. these moments see the collaboration of God it sees the collaboration of God the Holy Spirit and his word these these moments see that all of these working together all of them working together to bring about the beauty he has intended oh. Genesis moments bring into alignment that which is out of alignment they bring order to things that seems to be out of order and where there is order there is prosperity the Genesis moment is intended to fulfill the purposes of God in your life that he gives us these moments of newness these moments of more opportunities in Genesis 6 verse 9 Noah has a Genesis moment to build an ark 
God interjects his life. By no means possible could he have done it. If Jehovah was not working it. In Genesis 12, God calls Abram to leave his home. And Abram enters into a Genesis moment at the age of 75. At the age of 75, God gives him a promise, generational promise that will outlast generations today. In Exodus 14 verse 15, God delivers the Israelites from slavery. He interjects them in 400 years and brings about a Genesis moment. In Luke 1 verse 2, we see the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ again. We see God, His Holy Spirit and His Word come to pass. But I want to take it a step further. I understand that every day can be the beginning of something new. Every day we are graced with an opportunity for a new beginning. Lamentations 3 verse 22 and verse 23 says, Let us know that the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never will come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. He grants us new, a new day with a new beginning. What a God we serve. What a God we serve that yesterday could not have been your best day, but today he brings about a genesis in your day. And yesterday you might have missed an opportunity, but the genesis today brings about a new opportunity. And yesterday something must have happened that was so terrible, but today he says here's a new day with new grace and with new faith. And if you can pick up new grace and new faith and new strength and trust me again, you will see me create out of nothing, stand on nothing, speak into nothing, and I'll bring all things into fruition. And so today, my, my appeal to you is to, is to trust God like you first trusted God when you first got saved. Watch. Genesis moment. Genesis moments are often missed because of a lack of discernment. If you and I can notice it and discern a Genesis moment and respond effectively, we will maximize the moment. Tell somebody, maximize the moment. You see, there's a certain posture that you ought to have to maximize the moment. There's a certain strength that we ought to have when we maximize the moment. In a Genesis moment, if we don't discern it, we can miss it. You see, there's a posture of faith. Tell somebody it's the posture of faith. Ooh. Tell somebody it's time to mix the word with faith. Whoa. Now speak to somebody like you're preaching, like I'm preaching. Tell them in this season, if you are going to see it happen, you must mix the word with faith say like you take ugali and like you make ugali say you've got to get down and mix it my god i'm gonna preach to you i'm gonna preach to you quickly tell them you've got to get down and mix it find somebody next to you tell them you've got to get down and mix it don't miss your genesis moment because you know church don't miss your genesis moment because you've been here for 20 years and oh I'm just coming to deliverance church Zimmerman and I forget that there's power in the house my god you didn't hear me don't come to church because oh we come in the church today and we're just gonna enjoy the praise and worship and we're not gonna have the expectation of the word to create tell somebody the word creates tell them the word always creates oh my god somebody clap for Jesus somebody clap for his word I want to break you out of just coming for the sake of coming. But I want to get you into the place where you get the word and mix it with faith. Tell somebody, mix it with faith. If you're sick and the word of healing goes out, mix it with faith. If you broke and the word of abundance goes out, take it, mix it with faith. If you forget everything I said, mix the word with faith. Oh, come on somebody come on somebody mix the word with faith watch the posture you must have in a Genesis moment 
is the posture of faith when there's the posture of faith you allow a partnership between you God the Holy Spirit and the word oh when you allow the partnership between you God and the Holy Spirit and you mix it with faith watch what happens it unlocks the creativity of God oh it unlocks the creativity of God it unlocks the vision of God oh man listen it unlocks the vision and the creativity a Genesis moment brings about it an opportunity to maximize the moment in other words new vision vision upon vision creativity upon creativity if we are going to reach a generation then this church I have seen can I tell you something I have seen that this church has mixed the word with faith it has unlocked creativity you say pastor how can you see you've only been here for 20 minutes I just heard the sound I just heard the sound to tell me that there's been Genesis moments that has been seized there has been Genesis moments that has been maximized there has been Genesis moments that has been mixed with faith and vision came and creativity came so that the gospel of Jesus can reach a generation that it might not that it, that it might not have reached before I met Pastor Brian he just walked into the office he walked into the office with a nice colorful shirt and his pants was up here can I tell you something he did not miss a Genesis moment Bishop Kimani I want to salute you Reverend Alice I want to salute you for not missing a Genesis moment to usher a generation in to the kingdom of God through the expression of vision and the expression of creativity Mark God I don't know how old you are but for the sound to be in this house I'm I don't know but I got this one thing you are a man of God I need you to put your hands together for your bishop I know he might not want it but I need you to see what's in this church Ooh. in a Genesis moment you'll see creativity come to life you'll see vision come to life in a Genesis moment hmm. in a Genesis moment in a Genesis moment my God we must seize the moment in the earth right now there's a generation there's a generation that is broken and lost they have fallen through the cracks of transition this Genesis moment is a moment for the church to reap them this Genesis moment is a moment for you sitting there to seize a moment and God to unlock creativity and plant a seed of vision and who knows it might just be the next A.A. A. Allen or the next T.L. Osborne or the next Billy Graham that might be sitting in our churches that will go and reap for Jesus a generation that's what a Genesis moment does a Genesis moment comes the Spirit of the Lord hovers and God is waiting to release a word and at the at the inception of the word the explosion of new vision the explosion of greater creativity that the nightclubs will be closed and the churches will be filled that, that, that our young ladies won't be selling their bodies on the street to people from foreign lands but a Genesis moment calls for somebody in the audience to say pastor I'll seize a moment I'll seize a Genesis moment may I partner with the Spirit of God may I partner with the Word of God may I partner with Jehovah God father drop it in me if you drop it in me a generation can be saved this morning six o'clock I went to gym and as I went to gym to the reception a beautiful young lady came to the came to the reception and she was on her way to a hotel room the devil
devil is a liar my God these are daughters of our soil and may the Spirit of God cause a Genesis in the earth a Genesis so powerful that it ignites young ladies here to speak the gospel and say did you know that Jesus saves did you know that there's life in God did you know that there's an opportunity in the church forgive my passion I'm sorry I apologize but there's a generation that have fallen through the cracks last night we drove through Nairobi I said to Reverend Dan take me through I want to see and I heard the music thumping and I saw young people standing outside of clubs I said Jesus this nation is in a Genesis moment it's a Genesis moment that will cause you to thresh mountains I'm telling you that should be your loudest amen because you are in a new beginning am I right you are in a new beginning yesterday or Friday was your new beginning the word went forth the Spirit of God was there the word was went forth threshing mountains we need a generation of people and Christians that will become so passionately hot for Jesus that they will take the word mix it with faith go to their workplace even if you were lawyer speak into your workplace and say did you know that God is good make them wonder what are you talking about go into your reception area and say did you know that Jesus saves I pray that the power of God will come upon you in such a way that you'd maximize the moment that you'll become like a city on a hill that cannot be hidden can I say something to you this Genesis moment listen if you didn't know Kenya you are in a revival Kenya you are in a revival but you must seize the moment there's a moment, a Genesis moment for you to seize, for you to grab a hold of. When vision and faith collides, those forces are unstoppable. I asked Pastor David and I close, because I'm going to show you in two minutes how we create through a Genesis moment. But I was speaking to Pastor David. I asked him, how long, how old is this church? He said to me, since 84 a few people started on the other side how is this possible I'll tell you there was a there had to be a partnership with heaven If you partner with heaven, your life will never, ever, you know who says that? Ever, ever be the same again. But you must partner with heaven. You must partner with heaven. Man, tell somebody next to you, partner with heaven. If there's a young lady sitting next to you, tell them, partner with heaven. Don't partner with anything that's not of heaven. My God. Genesis moment. I close. I have two sons. One is seven. His name is Zachariah. The most playful child you'll ever meet in your life. He loves Jesus. When I invite somebody to church, and they don't come he stands and he says I'm watching you you must come to church my daddy said so beautiful child I have another child called Micaiah he's four years old three and a half Micaiah was when he was born he was born on the eve of lockdown he was born in the eve of lockdown everything was perfect everything was fine when he was born when he came out of the womb the next morning five hours later the pediatrician came in the pediatrician said that there's something wrong with your child he looks funny my world stopped in a moment I said what do you mean there's something wrong with him he looks funny she said he might have down syndrome my world all of a sudden in a moment stood still I didn't know what to do because how do I protect this child in the culture and the life that we are living she then said to me I have to check his organs 
She checked his organs. She said it might be out of alignment and his anus and his rectum might be out of alignment. They did all the tests that they needed to do. They then went and did the heart test, called the cardiologist in and then they saw there were eight holes in his heart. Eight holes in his heart. It's three years, three and a half years later. There are no holes in his heart. My child is fully functional. His cognitive ability is on the next level. When you say don't do that, he does it. He's on the next level. I'm telling you that because in seven seconds I want to close this. When I got the diagnosis, the Lord said don't look at the diagnosis, speak my word. I spoke his word into a situation that was dark, empty and without form. And the word brought form and the word brought order and the word brought alignment and the word brought healing. I want to say to you today, as my time is up, partner with heaven, let the word do the work in your life. A warm God bless you. Thank you so much. Partner with heaven.